everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another unboxing for one of our favorites, Universal Yums. And you know, your favorite guy is back to And big news, I'm wearing pants today. Oh I mean, I normally wear wow. sweatpants, but today I put real pants on for this. Wow. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, we're, we're coming to you after dinner, so I don't know how much tasting will happen, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, if you're not familiar with Universal Yums, this is a monthly subscription where you get snacks from around the world. Um, this is the small, this is the small size, and this is $13.75 a month. You can get another one a little bit uh, more, and then there's the big box, which, um, you know, who knows, maybe one day we'll try. But um, <laughs> each month is uh, geared around a specific country, and usually there's a little clue sticker on here, but there's not one this month. I do know what it is, but we're gonna open it and see for this month where we are going. Joe, where are we going? Russia. Oh, here's the sticker. Oh, look. <laughs> it's in the box. There's yes. like 27 ballots in here. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> Don't even, just, okay. So this is usually on the box, but I guess they put it in the box this month. I don't know if you can see it. It says, the home of the world's longest railroad. Who knew? Did you know that? You get railroaded in oh Russia. Oh my God. By Russia. Okay, we're just gonna, okay. we're gonna be, Appropriate. Okay, so anyway, uh, you usually get a little map in the box as well telling you all about um, where everything might be located in that country. And then on the back, there is usually some of the ones that, uh, snacks that did not make it in the box and then we can vote for an upcoming box. So some things that, oh, that's the previous box, I'm sorry. So things we liked from that. Did we like one of those? I don't know. Oh, cool, vote on an upcoming box. We have Turkey, uh, Jordan, and Israel. I'll let's see that. That'd be fun. All right. Okay. So we're gonna get right into it. Oh, that's pretty. So you get a little pamphlet tells you all about the country, and then in the uh, packet or in the pamphlet, there's like a little quiz and all kinds of cool things. Um, again, I keep mentioning that I want to laminate these and put them on my classroom while I haven't done it yet. I need to do it. Maybe I'll collect a few more and then I'll. I just want to remind it, you but that Game Six of the American League Championship Series is on, so yes, if we could, we're, we're gonna hurry it up. Step up our efforts. Maybe, maybe it'll be good luck. Okay. okay. So anyway, we're gonna get started in here. We'll tell you everything in the box, and again, if the larger sizes obviously have a lot more product, but uh, we're gonna start with the basics here. And oh, here you go, Joe. All this right. For you. First up, we've got some mushroom croutons. Yes. Mushroom They're both croutons. naturally and artificially flavored. The number one um, ingredient is wheat. Well, of course. Wheat. Okay, so these are, as you're reading this, dozens of basket-toting Russians are scouring the forest floors of, of Siberia. What are they doing? Mushroom hunting. So I guess mushroom hunting is a big thing in Russia. Um, but this one says basically it is, uh, e, uh, you can partake with these crunchy twice baked bread rusks complete with the bolet mushroom seasoning. So croutons with mushroom seasoning. I look forward to checking that out. Yeah, would you, have a, would you rather on a salad or what would you do? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay. well, I'm just asking you. Like, Probably you two to three salads worth of mushrooms. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, next up, okay, good luck with this. This is the, oh, Sovietsky cheese potato crisps. I remember these chips. from Rocky IV. So this is made with absurdly addictive Russian cheese. Oh. I didn't realize there was a specific Russian type of cheese. It says, when uh, time to try the devil's apple. You know it better as the potato. Um, let's see. Russians use them for uh, practically everything. Um, so it's basically cheese. Though. Yeah. So it says they're slightly sweet and totally addictive. All right. Cheese it's. I guess. Okay, give that a whirl. All right, I'm gonna open the yum bag and see what's in the yum bag. So the yum bag is um, a bag that has small, <laughs> that has small uh, individual items. So usually it's like a candy or something like that. So we have what in our This appears to be bag. Ooh. coconut something. Where is that? Oh, here we go. This is the coconut and white chocolate hazelnut balls. A creamy, nutty luxury. Yum. And there's another one. Um, Two balls. So it's basically uh, shredded coconut coated white chocolatey whole hazelnut filled ball. Uh, that sounds good. What's the other one? 
there, dear? I don't know. What does it look like? I don't know. I can't read because it's dark out here. I know. We're we're doing this late or later than we wanted to. It's um. I don't know what this is. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Exotic fruit jellies. Okay. okay. Oh, they're soft. Uh, okay. Ripe mango, black currant, mint, and strawberry pepper. Russia is, that, is known for its Is that mangoes. what that is? I don't know. Yeah, they're jellies. Um, so if you've completed the trivia, you already know that Russians love jelly. So there you go. Um, this one is uh, free jelly candy locally called marmalade. Cool. So there's are interesting flavors. Is there one that sounds good to you? While we're talking about jelly, um, oh do you God. prefer grape or strawberry jelly on your PBJs? Grape. Of course. It's the only correct answer. Yes, yes. Um, he's, yeah, okay, yes. All right, we're moving. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, please. Okay, hopefully so. The, hopefully the Rays will be at five to one by the time exactly. we're done with this. Exactly. Oh, stop. Okay. So, this one, what do we have here? All right. Okay, this is the nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Hold on. I'm going to oh. show you Joe and Miriam at the restaurant after 6 p.m. Here it is. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is us, because we old, Wait. we can't see so good. I might need you to keep that on in here. Okay, here we well, go. no, no. Here, I'll pace it down. So this is the nuts and milk chocolate wafer. It is Russia's softest, nuttiest, and cakiest wafer. It does feel a little cakey. Yeah, but that sounds good. So that looks, okay, all right, now it's like I'm glowing. It's like you a Halloween. Do a it's like Halloween. Story? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, okay. So that was good. Um, is there any way you can tell the sugar in that one with your little flashlight? Okay, this is don't we're not we'll not be doing another video. What at did night. we ever do before these? Um, I know. Total six grams of sugar for the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's not bad. I yeah. might enjoy that. Okay. That's good. Okay. Next. Ooh. No clue what that says. Let's see. Um, I took Russian in seventh grade for twelve weeks, and you I don't didn't. remember what no, it. Did. I did too. Did? We had really? a Russian teacher. Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah. Why it was only 12 weeks? Well, maybe it was nine weeks or 18 like weeks. Like only or, like a, a quarter? It was like a wheel. Oh. Well, no, not a wheel. Seventh oh. grade. Like I only had German and Spanish, I think, at my school. I remember Stratsvite or something like that. I think you got that from Sex in the City. No. <laughs> no. Got from Sex in the City. No, I took Russian <laughs> in middle school. Westridge Middle School, <laughs> Orlando, Florida. Search my transcripts. I swear you got that from Sex in the City when when Carrie is talking to Alexander Stratsfuse. You got you get. Aren't you glad look at, Big showed up at the end of that? You just spoiled it for anyone who hasn't seen. If it. you haven't seen it, you're missing out. This is a wafer with nutty cream. Yes, this is white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. They must love hazelnuts in Russia. I mean, I like a hazelnut as well, but I didn't realize it was this popular. Um, this yum is a fairy tale. No, really, its name, Ordinary Miracle, huh? is based on the title of a Russian fable in which a wizard transforms a man into a bear who then falls in love with a princess. Okay. I'm so going to check the baseball is, score. Yep, that's that. fine. So this is a crispy wafer filled with luscious hazelnut and white chocolate cream. All right, Drew might like that. He We're going to have chocolate. to stay out here because the Rays are now leading one to nothing. See? So we need you. to, this video is going to be another did, three and a half hours did long. Did I not say that that was going to be good luck? We'll be out here Thank till you. the Rays win. No, we'll be all right. I think you're, it's a good start. This is a really good lighting technique, by the way. Just a little bit off the yeah. screen. Is that, okay. Oh. I don't know. Okay. okay. We will not be doing another video, I think, this late. What is but this okay. the last item? The, nope, we have two more. So this okay. one is the, I'm sorry for the noise. There are children riding outside. Get off um, my lawn. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, this is this is boiled milk and chocolate cake, crafted by Russia's most famous chocolatier. Take a look at this yum. Are you looking awesome? <laughs> You're now locking eyes with a Russian icon. Hello. You know what though? If you open this wrapper, there's another smaller wrapper inside of it, and then another smaller Russian wrapper, nesting doll. and then another I, smaller. I collect those. And then a know. ballot. All right. So seriously, barring. Oh, barring President Putin, there's no face more familiar. That's because this treat called Alonka, a popular Russian girl's name, is the country's most famous by far ever since it was first crafted in Moscow's Red October. Wow. Do you think he ordered them to put that in the, in, in the pamphlet? I don't think so. Okay. So here are the famous chocolate 
uh, coats a rich wafer cake. Somebody's having fun out there. Rich wafer cake filled with another local favorite. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this. It's a ridiculously creamy caramel made by boiling sweetened condensed milk. That sounds amazing. All right. I, I'm gonna have like tons of dessert. Okay. Last one. Last one we have, ooh, looks like a chocolate bar. Ooh, yes, oh, Wow, this is a ripe, okay. This is a ripe pear milk chocolate bar. It says rich, rich milk chocolate with an ooey gooey pear filling. That sounds interesting. That sounds mm -hmm. good. The Russian you chocolate like bar chocolate is full of beauty. Pear? I, okay. I like it with oranges. I like, I do not like really, um, fruit and chocolate. I like them separated. I don't like them together. But there have been times I like things like that. So maybe I'll try it. But it basically says it's uh, chocolate with pear filling. Um, yeah, so this is good. Um, this is interesting. A lot of chocolate, a lot of hazelnut. Um, I'm curious to see what's in the rest of the boxes. Um, again, at some point I'm thinking we just have to go for the big box. No vodka though. No vodka. No vodka. But, you know, this is... Hope you guys are loving it. Um, oh, and there is a Yum Shop. I want to point that out as well. So you can actually buy a lot of the products that you see in the boxes through their Yum Shop. And um, they're doing a best of right now. And there's these are ones from the previous boxes. Overstock.com. So no, no, Dot overstock. Stop, no. So anyway, yeah. I hope you enjoyed our crazy video uh, today. And um, hope to come back to see more. If you're interested in Universal Yums, I will put a link below. You can check them out for yourselves. And who knows, maybe we'll just upgrade to the bigger boxes. But you have Ooh, something else to add? You should buy some of these. What would you like to buy, Joe? There's Prosecco bonbons. Oh, are you interested in that? Oh, you like, he likes Prosecco. There's I, speculous he, sandwiches. Specu isn't it Speculous? It's cookie butter yeah. to Trader Joe's. All right. Um, yeah. Spicy mango. No, that sounds gross. Oh, I just. All right. I think we're done. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, and we'll see you again next time. Go Bye. Rays.